Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be talking about moving from Unity to Unigine because Unigine just released a plugin that makes this process a whole lot easier. So let's say you have a scene like the one we see here. Uh, this is in the Unity game engine uh, using the built-in standard pipeline. This is an asset bundle that is currently available up on Humble Bundle. Uh, it's a small low poly level so these actually uh, import incredibly fast. So they make a great demo. So let's say I wanted to get this over into Unigine Game Engine like this. So what you're going to notice is it's pretty much picture perfect uh, and uh, it's super fast to bring this across. So there is this new uh, exporter and importer for bringing Unity assets over to the Unigine Game Engine. And now what I'm going to do is show you exactly how this works. So it is a multi-part process. Uh, details are available up on the Unigine blog. They just did a new point release uh, and this is part of it. So they've got sim simplified scene import from Unity. This is done as a pair of add-ins. Uh, what it brings across is skinned and static meshes, material assignments, physics settings, uh, presab and C, uh, C sharp components. Uh, now you are still going to need to do some work on the other end. So you're going to have to obviously rewrite your script so that it works. It's probably not going to bring over shaders perfectly. But if you have a level in uh, the Unity game engine and you want to get it over to Unigine, this does make it very simple. So now, as I mentioned, there are a pair of plugins here. The first one here is the Unity importer. This is available up on their store. Basically, just come on in here, search for Unity on the Unigine store. It is completely free and you're going to find it available right here. You're also going to notice there's some reviews for it that are um, negative, uh, you're going to want to just ignore those because they just obviously don't understand how this thing actually works. It, it actually works quite well, but you're going to need to install this for Unigine. To do that, basically you download it from here. So basically uh, it's a U package file. Uh, and then what you do is head on over to the Unigine game engine, create your project and go packages, import package, and then find wherever you grabbed it from. So in my case, it's in my downloads folder. Grab that U package and it will install it in Unigine. Unfortunately, Unigine does not have hot reloading of plugins. So you're going to have to restart um, Unigine to get it to work. So once you've done that, you're going to need a scene to export. So this is part two. This is what you get from the Unity game engine. In this case, what you're going to want to do is go into a window, uh, go to your package manager, and you're going to want to add scene to JSON exporter. Now this is also available on the Unity asset store. So this one is scene to JSON exporter uh, up there. And now interestingly enough, once it's installed, it has a slightly different name. So I wonder if this was named this way to get it up on the asset store. Uh, and then just basically add it to your assets. Uh, by the way, all of the projects we're using in this demo came from this low poly uh, game dev bundle. So we actually used uh, survival low poly settings. One of uh, no, not weapons. So basically we're using one of these asset sets as our demo project. So this is still going on for a couple more days. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, that's still available. I will have the link down below. Uh, and I will have a linked article with all of these different links that you need. So what you're going to do is install this into Unity. So once you've got that done, head on back over to Unity, add to your packages, import it into your scene. And then once that is done, no reload required on the Unity side, you will have a new option called Unigine Exporter export to JSON. And there's no settings for this guy. Basically just pick it and pick a location and this will save out the JSON file. Now I do believe it leaves all the FBX files inside of the Unity project. So don't delete your Unity project because I think it's pulling assets over. This is more or less a, a mapping, I believe. Uh, so just one of those things to be aware of. Uh, it's basically not pulling all the assets over as far as I can tell. So you're going to want to have your original Unity project still around when you do the import. So that's done. You've got your JSON file now created. You head on back over to the Unigine project over here. And now uh, again, you're going to have to do a restart. And once you've done a restart, you will find tools. Uni import is available. Now we're going to start from scratch on this one. So let's go ahead and pick select everything and delete it. So this is actually going to import it into your currently active scene. So if you've got anything in that scene, uh, if you want to merge, it's great. If you don't want to merge, delete everything you've got. So even a default scene when you create a new scene will have content in it. Go ahead and get rid of them. So now what you do is basically go tools, Unity import. It will open up this little window over here. There are a couple of settings. This one is where the root folder is. I think by default it will be assets and you're fine with that. Uh, and then what you can do is you can flatten down the hierarchy so it all comes in as like one big list of assets instead of uh, preserving them. Uh, and then what we can do is just basically import our scene. So that was in temp. Like so, I exported it out to export from Unity over here. And here is our project, demo.json. Just go ahead and import it. And then boom, it's there. That's it. Uh, so if, again, if you didn't want to have uh, certain things have hierarchies like so, you um, 
you, you uh, can flatten them. So that's what flatten will do. It will made this one, and instead of having these hierarchies still maintained, uh, it will get rid of them. There's not a lot of hierarchies in this demo project, so you're not seeing a really profound effect. You're also going to notice we have some other assets that are coming in over here, like this main camera. And you'll notice it actually even brought over scripts. Now, I don't expect any of them to work because you've got entirely different APIs or, or methods for doing things. But as you can see, it is bringing them over. Uh, again, I would not expect any of this part to work. I would not expect shaders to work. I would look at this mostly for just bringing over a scene. But it also brought over lighting, like you saw here. So the directional light came in uh, right there. So you can see turning it off and on, the effect of doing so right there. So uh, it does bring the lighting across. It brings over all of the meshes, the textures for said meshes. And it again, it's bringing over scripts for things as well, uh, which um, I find interesting, but I, I would not realistically expect it to work. Because obviously, two completely game different game engines with two completely different APIs, even if they share a language. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, a very simple exporter for bringing your levels from Unity over to Unigine. And Unigine is a very interesting game engine, in all honesty. If Unity had decided to focus on games earlier on, it would probably be a lot more popular than it is. It's still a commercial game engine, so uh, it, there are definitely downsides to choosing it, but it has one of the nicest renderers that you will find. I actually think that out of the box, it creates much nicer looking renders than Unity does, as an example. It's fast, really good performance. Uh, it's got uh, C Sharp support as well as C++, and I think JavaScript was the other language option as well. Uh, again, it is a commercial game engine, so uh, there is a price tag attached, but there is now a free version available with no royalties. It took them forever to add this. So if you make less than 100K uh, in the last year, uh, you can uh, use it royalty free, but this is for non-commercial. If you want to actually use this commercially, you're looking at 1500 bucks a person. So it's still a little bit cheaper than Unity, but this is very much a commercial game engine. But you'll find, quite frankly, Unity just has a shocking amount of capability. It's a very beautiful uh, renderer in there. Uh, it's got some really nice world building tools, some uh, environmental stuff that you've probably not seen anything that looks that good out of the box. It really rivals uh, the Unreal game engine in like the out of the box rendering capability. So it is a cool engine worth checking out if you are looking for an alternative to Unity. And if you're looking for an alternative to Unity, well, Unigine just made it a lot easier because now you can export your scenes in quite literally seconds. And the impressive part here, I didn't actually show you this part earlier on, uh, the process of actually exporting something out. So let's just go back here and we'll make a V3 folder like so and export the scene. Yeah, it's fast. <laughs> So uh, it, it works a lot faster than most exporters I've seen out there. So it's an impressive tool. Uh, again, uh, ignore some of the reviews you're seeing here because they, they clearly just don't understand how you actually use it. Uh, so that that part, just ignore because uh, it, it does seem to work quite well. I've had a scene where it didn't give me the greatest results ever as well. So your mileage may vary. Uh, for Again, for this one, I used all of the assets from this particular uh, Humble Bundle and they worked great. So if you're working also with something like Cinti assets, they will export extremely well as well. Uh, but the more complicated your scene is, probably the more hiccups you're going to encounter. It's just the nature of the beast. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The new Unigine uh, importer from Unity. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.